I've made my final design on a large piece of paper and you can see that it goes from the top to the bottom both ways uh, to the sides as well so it's about the same size as my felt um, so I'm going to carefully cut this out and use that as a guide for my um, fabric I just go along here try to make smooth cuts Okay, so this can be recycled. We still want to be fairly careful with this because once we're done uh, transferring everything onto here, we still want to keep it so that we can have a guide for where the eyes or mouth should be. Um, so now I'm going to take our pins and I want to pin this very carefully to the fabric. So I'm going to poke in here and this way so i'm making them uh, at a 90 degree angle from basically where this is going to be so for another example um, i would put this here and poke this way so it's not going to slide around All right, and then I'm going to take my scissors and just cut along. It's easiest if you have it down on the table. I'm gonna cut along around the pattern. It's okay if you have a little bit of an extra, because remember we are gonna sew these together so that a little bit of allowance is okay. You don't have to get right up next to it. So you can see I've left like a, about a, a quarter of an inch around most of it. All right, there should be a box uh, at the front that has a place for scraps. You just put those in there. And then you're gonna just take your pins out and put them back on the little pin holder and like I said you're gonna save your pattern because we're gonna use that to um, make the eyes and the mouth and the teeth and to remind us where we're gonna put the buttons so you'll save these pieces in your bag your little gallon bag with your name tag on it Put that back in the little kit, close it up, and you're good to go.